Hi, I'm Dan from Marvel.com, and today I'm here with Derek from The Inventive Group. How are you, Derek? Good, Dan. Good. So today we're here to talk about the carrot top options to avoid. And we're in the small kitchen, and we have some laminate carrot tops that we're looking at right now. And Derek, can you explain a little bit of what's happened to these carrot tops over time? Yeah, so first of all, when we walk into the kitchen, there's a couple things we notice. And the first thing is the seam over here. It's directly on an angle. Uh, aesthetically doesn't look good like that. It's not really a hidden seam uh, mm -hmm. at all. Actually, with a kitchen this size, you actually shouldn't even have a seam at all. Mm -hmm. um, but they do, and you know that's because they wanted to save money and go with a cheaper material, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what you get. So you get kind of a seam that's really visible. But actually, if you really take even a closer look at the seam, and you can actually see from far away, you don't have to get close, you can see that the seam is not level. And that's due to water. And let's talk, but before we talk about what water does to a kitchen or even a house, Let's talk about laminate itself. And I actually have two of the most popular types of countertops here. One is laminate and one is solid surface. And if you mm -hmm. actually look close, you actually see one's just a little bit thicker mm -hmm. than the other. And one has, a, the bottoms are slightly different. And which one's which? Uh, well, the thinner one here is the laminate mm -hmm. and the one that's a little thicker is the solid surface. Okay. And, but what's really important about this is that it's wood. Mm -hmm. All it is is wood with um, some kind of acrylic on top of it. Um, there are other top layers that they do put on top of the wood. So yeah, this wood is actually a, it's a particle board. Um, and actually if you touch it, because we actually just had this cut for us, you can feel how wet it is. They're, they're still wet and this was about, what, two hours ago? Yeah, it's still wet. Uh, so, you know, wood is an absorbent of a lot of things, especially water. Water does damage. It does a lot of damage to a house. Um, that's why everyone does their best. You know, you don't want to have floods. You don't want to have um, you know, the window treatments. They do their best to put different ma paper materials around that to not let the water run in. Water is just going to absorb and do damage. Uh, bathrooms with mold. Um, and if we look at this countertop here, we can actually see the sides of the laminate all over the place. You can see it's coming apart. And it's Which just is very noticeable even from far away. Very noticeable. Yeah. It's just not going to last the uh, test of time. Anything with wood. Is, is you know kind of a cheaper way to do um, a kitchen, and it's not mm -hmm. going to last mm -hmm. a long time. It's just not. Mm -hmm. um, and you might get, you know, a handful of years of, of it looking good. Um, you know, these materials, you know, they tend to scratch. They mm -hmm. tend to leave stains. Mm -hmm. um, even other materials such as um, butcher block, mm -hmm. which is also wood, mm -hmm. you got to seal that, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And I know that. You've heard people with issues with butcher block. It's you? all over the internet. Yeah, all all over the internet with water getting in and bacteria forming. And which was surprising to me is that butcher block scratches very easily. Yeah, you think it's a material you cut on, so it should exactly. be safe. But you know, I have a cutting board at home, and every six months we replace it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's going to get wet, and you, know, you just don't want that bacteria. You don't want those germs. Um, even for me, the two things I will never do is I will never touch the hand roll of an escalator. If you ever look at those handrails, they're really disgusting. Mm -hmm. And I will not sit on a wooden bench in the subway. We're right next to New York City here. Mm -hmm. Those wooden benches are just harbors of germs. And anything with wood is just going to absorb. But it really baffles me why anyone would do a countertop uh, with a wood, any type of wood. It just, you know. Um, it's more cost efficient. Actually, butcher's block is pretty expensive. Butcher's block is expensive. Yeah. I mean, I understand why people might do a little area of butcher's block. Mm -hmm. But you got to realize that it's wood, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a nice aesthetic piece to it. Mm -hmm. But you know, when it comes to a countertop, it's worth spending the extra money mm -hmm. to get the best materials, whether it be granite, mm -hmm. be quartz, quartzite. I would even do a marble, which is porous. I mean, not as porous as wood, but mm -hmm. it is porous, before I would ever do any type of wood surface such as these. Mm -hmm. It's just not gonna last. You're just really wasting your money. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think you want a countertop to last, you know, 30, 40, 50 years, your lifetime, you know, you could spend, you know, anywhere from 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 and up mm -hmm. um, for, you know, a granite countertop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's worth it as opposed to, you know, saving a thousand or two thousand dollars for something you have to replace every five years or so, ten years or so. Mm -hmm. um, if you're really diligent with this, maybe you can get ten years out of it. But, mm -hmm. if, you know, if you're lucky and mm -hmm. you're, you're gambling, you're really gambling there's, and there's no yeah. fixing it. You got to replace it. Yeah. But when it comes down to, you know, you could be diligent about your marble and it's going to last generations. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, and you can actually repair, you mm -hmm. know, an actual stone. This is wood, you're not repairing this, it's gotta be replaced. Mm -hmm. And there are other services that people do, such as concrete. Mm -hmm. Same issue though, you know, it's gonna, the earth move. you know, the earth moves, your house moves, mm -hmm. it's gonna crack. Mm -hmm. There's no repairing that, you yeah. know. 
Um, it's just, it's not the best. And, and the repairs we've seen have not looked so great. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the repairs for concrete don't look good at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, and again, you know, water gets into there. Mm -hmm. It's really absorbent. It's going to change color. Yeah. It's going to discolor. Mm -hmm. You know, water does so much damage mm -hmm. to any house material. You know, it moves the earth. It changes things. You know, I mean, so why would you put something that's really porous, such as wood, and that gets damaged by water in your kitchen? It's just not practical. It's just really not. Mm -hmm. People do it just to save a penny. But really, in the long run, you're actually costing yourself more. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the, the aesthetic beauty that the natural stone has, which is what we absolutely recommend. Mm -hmm. And it's just not going to last the test of time. You know, mm -hmm. something like granite, you know, it's not going to burn. And you know what, granite has so many options, and especially from our selection at marble.com, that you will be able to find something in your price range. Right. And as you can see, you know, the granite and marbles, I mean, not only are they stunning, mm -hmm. I mean, they're gonna last forever. Mm -hmm. A little bit of maintenance and they last forever. Well, this material here, you know, it's, you gotta replace it. Mm -hmm. So if you want that aesthetic beauty, you got, you're gonna have to replace it. You know, water is just damaging. And not only that, you know, mold, you don't wanna be breathing in mold either, so. Mm -hmm. Health factors also. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, all right. Thank you very much, Derek. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Hope we were able to be insightful about what countertop options to avoid today. And visit marble.com for more information. Visit our YouTube channel for more videos. And be sure to like us on Facebook. Take care.